there's times where we we can make it seem like we're tired but then again that's where perception is reality right away when i heard that we fake it you know that's where the fakes and things come into play and i'm like okay you think i'm tired damn i'm gonna catch you with that all right Phenom. the undertaker I'm just gonna say this once and that's it. It is so important to be around people that are gonna help you level up. I, I'm probably gonna say it again in the future, but <laughs> I'm saying this because that Friday, I was overwhelmed by life. I was overwhelmed by everything that was going on around me because my brain was so busy, right? And if I don't make myself go back to balance, then I'm screwed. For the rest of the weekend i don't want to live in that bubble all the time you know and that's something that i've learned if i don't remove myself or pop that negative bubble that i have then i'm just gonna get stuck there so on friday got my soul back to balance i trained and then after that taz and i talked because you know that taz and Nene talks be like all deep and shit. that same day we sat down and we watched the undertakers wwe Hall of Famer speech. Yeah. For anybody that doesn't know who The Undertaker is, look him up. He's one of the biggest legends in WWE. And he's known by the Phenom, The Undertaker. Or the person that I met in person is Mark Holloway. I'm not as obsessed as Tass because Tass is the obsessed one, right? <laughs> he's the, he, he's that fan. And if you listen to Tasmo's podcast, you will know how much this man means to test. But with me, I met Mark Holloway in one of those meet and greets that Tess took me. I was just like the second wheel, like the third wheel. Like I didn't even get invited, but I'm like, yeah, let me go. I want to see who this, this big old person that is that you keep talking about, you know? So when we got there, there was a huge line, of course, like people that look up to this man and you could tell like the, the vibe was different, you know, like people are super excited. They're dressed like him, but this man is like twice my height. I'm like five one, right? And, and it was so warm, so nice and humble. And I shook his hand and it was just very nice to meet him. The speech that he gave, it was very inspiring and I, that's why I'm here. I want to share it because I think a lot of us don't understand that if we consume, we're going to have in our brains. <laughs> like whatever we put it in our brains, whatever we listen to, whatever we consume, chances are is it, there is a long-term effect after that. So I watched that video and there were three main points that I was like, damn, son, he's got these three mental moves that he talks about. I'm going to talk about all three. But the first one is perception is reality. Right away when I heard that, I thought about how I posted myself on YouTube, on Instagram for two years now, right? And whatever it is that I post, people see it however they want to see it. There's been times where I have posted a video from YouTube and people come up to me asking, are you okay? Or they, they just want to check in, you know? And then I, I think to myself, like, why? Why are they asking me these things, you know? But then I forget that I create my content prior to posting it. At the time, I'm like wondering, like, do I really look that not okay? Like, do I really look that sad? Do I really look like that? And then I forget that it's like when I said in the like on the video that I'm overwhelmed or whatever the case is, of course, people are going to respond a certain way. And I appreciate when people respond, you know, concerned or they just want to check in. You know, I do. But then it's like I forget sometimes. So I thought about how in MMA, we never want to show our opponent weakness. Like we never want to show that intimidation because that's how people take advantage of in a fight when you're intimidated, when you're tired, this is this is the moment for the opponent to capitalize on that. And that's where the opponent beats them up. Like, 
that's why it's so important to be so confident in ourselves and trust our training because in a fight you're gonna see that like the opponent is gonna see that and they're gonna capitalize on that there was many many times right that even though i felt so good in myself i didn't want to show that confidence in me because i was scared because in the past i have i have shown my confidence but then right away right away it was shut down so now it's like it's just remembering that i have the ability to do things the biggest wake-up call for me was after my fight because that's where everything just snapped like everything just hit me in the face like this is what it was you were not there mentally so you gotta wake your ass up girl wake up and because of that that's why i was able to just fucking snap out of it like out of a lot of things in my life like i was able to confront my siblings about things that i didn't like um i was able to confront my parents about things and i was able to just start seeing people for who they were as opposed to who i thought they were and i started noticing actions and a whole bunch of other shit i'm telling you my perception on things it, it got more clear as i became more in tune with myself and i became more real with myself and i started opening up have you ever heard of the the saying when people say your perception of me is a reflection of yourself like whatever you see about me chances are it's something about yourself like I've thought about like the shit that I don't like about certain people, right? Okay, I'm just gonna say it, just shut up. <laughs> like, there's, there's certain people that I've met that get on my nerves. They're either too controlling or they get mad easily. But then when I look back, I'm like, holy shit, I'm the same way. Then that's where I am self-aware enough to be like, all right, all right, all right, all right, what's going on with me? Why am I getting so mad? Like, why am I giving this person so much power over me? So that's where the, like, perception is reality. Whatever I post anywhere, you guys are going to see one thing. And you guys are going to get whatever you want out of this. I thought that The Undertaker was probably going to be a little bit stuck up. Like, in the beginning, I was scared because he's so big, bro. Like, he's scary and big looking. You know, I, I've never met this man and considering his legacy and how much people look up to him, I never really understood why until I met him and he was very humble. And whatever you see on the media, that's also another thing that I'm like, man, people are full of shit. You know, like you can meet me one day and then you could be like, man, this girl is a bitch. At the same time, I don't have a lot of control over whatever people think about me. I, I can do so much, you know, I can post whatever I want on social media and people are still going to see one thing about me. You know, that's why there's there's been times, honestly, there's been times that I have questioned, like, I'm not shaking my ass. I'm not posting some dumb shit. If anything, I'm actually being real with this. So if you like it, good. If you don't like it, suck it. <laughs> so...